Hello, friends. It is bright today. The sun is so bright today. I love it. But yeah, you know, some coming <laughs> into the office that I'm trying to avoid a little bit so I could see here. Um, so today I'm so excited. Um, but I get to show you contouring and um, a new palette that is out. Okay, so we're going to play with that. So first, contouring. So I want to introduce you to my face in a case. Yes, I love this. I got something on my lip there from breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Um, I take this everywhere when I travel, um, because it is, it's just like a tablet. It's a face in a case, like everything I need besides my skincare is right in here. Like everything. Right. So this, um, I didn't bring my purse in here, but I'll say this is my purse. Cause this is what you can get with your new, the palette, but say you have a purse right this fits right in your purse so when i travel especially um in an airplane i will definitely put my palette into my purse so therefore nothing will get broken when they you know if they check a bag and they throw the bag around nothing will get broken because it's with me in my purse and i'll put it in my purse even if i have to travel a couple hours somewhere um, it just makes it super simple and then less, less that I have to pack, right? So it's all right here. So, ah, it's so exciting. Okay. Everything I need, all the different colors that I want to decorate my eyes with and my foundation and, um, my contour. So there it is. My face in the case. So let's get started. Oh, and I did not bring that one brush, did I? <laughs> Forgot my one brush in my bathroom. So I'm going to just show you the palette here. That's the palette we're going to do today. I'm going to run and grab my brush really quick and check that out. All right, I got it. Thanks for waiting for me. Back to this other screen here. Let's go a little bit bigger. All right, so there it is, face in the case. This is the brush I was after. This is the blending brush for your foundation. I love it. This is cream to powder foundation. And so I will use this brush and put it on this foundation photographs the best so especially if you're traveling somewhere and you want to you know you're going to be taking pictures to document the occasion this is great it photographs the best it's called the endless <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> it's called the endless performance creamed powder and it glides on so smoothly and I can't even tell I'm wearing it it just looks like my normal skin especially if you do exfoliate a couple times a week <laughs> that's always necessary too to not have very textured textured skin so that your foundation does go on smooth and you look flawless okay 
there we go. I like to get the eyelids too a little bit. <laughs> so there's my cream to powder, right? Next, um, we're going to get into our contour before we do our color palette. Yeah, we'll do it in that order. doesn't really matter the order, but we're going to do it in that order. So this is a pressed powder, okay? That is my pressed powder. So I'm going to take my powder brush and swirl it under the pressed powder. And I'm going to swirl it on top of my cream to powder. Why? Well, I just put a cream on my face and this is a powder and my contour is going to be powders and powders do better blending when they're with other powders. So I'm going to get the lids here to prep the eyelids before the shadows. But now it's like even more soft. Like the cream is nice to like blend with the skin. And I got this powder to kind of soften the surface. Ready for my chroma fusion contouring. Okay. So I got my powder on. And then during the day, you know, if you need to touch up, your pressed powder right there is great for touching up. So there it is. And, you know, if you want to know what your color is, we, I can help you with your coloring. You can just message me and I can help you with coloring. Okay, so contour. So this right here is a contour. This is called Latte. And I'm going to take the cheek brush. The cheek brush is shaped um, really smartly um this edge right here is a good place for contour and then the the peak the tip is good for highlighting so i'm going to take my contour with the edge there okay and so contouring it's finding this cheekbone and going on kind of like at the bottom of the cheekbone you can pull your mouth over like that <laughs> to kind of find where that part is. Or we're going to do the fishy face. Don't go in there. That's too low. You want to just do that to find your cheekbone. And it's up here. So we're going to put it right there. I'm going to put the color on and then I'm kind of like doing little circles of blending it to where I want it to be. Okay. So I'm going to do like one side before the other so you can see like the difference contour does. And I'm going to take some more and I'm going to put it up here. So we're going to kind of sculpt the forehead area. It's going to look, give me a look like I've been in the sun, sun kissed. I know I've gone to like different occasions and people are like, you're tan. Have you been tanning? <laughs> no just how I apply the makeup that gives me the nice glow. Okay. I did put it under here, the jawline too, because that will define where that is. And then you can just like move up into where that under cheek bone area is, and then up into the forehead area. Um, just gonna put a little bit more there. So if you can kind of tell, I know the lighting has more shadow on this side, but it does look slimmer on this side. That contour gives a nice little slimming to the face. All right, now we'll go to the other side. We'll get this moving. And again, that contour shade is Latte. There's another one that's a little deeper called Coco. Both great. Um, and again, I can help you with your coloring. You just can message me and we can go over what would be best with your skin tone. Under here, define the jaw.
All right. I'm contoured. Now, the next one, part of contouring, is cheek color. So these two cheek colors here, Mary Kay has, um, oh, let's say 16 shades? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't know off the top of my head. There's a lot of different shades of cheek color. So depending on, again, your skin tone is going to be what's going to be best for you. So and here I have Juicy Peach and Shy blush they both have a shimmer shimmer to them um and i like those with beige skin tones so i'm a beige skin tone and i also can tan very well um and these both are like a coral color this one's kind of more orangey coral and this one's more of a pink coral so um today i'm gonna go with the shy I'm going to do more of a pink coral today. And we'll set that right under the cheekbone and blend. And it's just going to like melt right in there. And that gives more color to the cheeks. All right. And then what's last is our highlighter. So we contoured, put cheek color on. Now we're going to highlight. And the tip of the brush is a great place to put the highlighter. And highlighting is right on the shelf of the cheek. See where, like, the light will hit it? That's what you want. And then into the apple of the cheek. So now I get a nice glow from that highlighter. And then also, I like to go right here above the brow area so that the light picks up right up there. <clears throat> and then also on the other side. And I like to make the nose look slimmer and go down the nose. You can do a little bit in the forehead. And uh, I like above the cupid's bow. So there we go. There's contour. So I did foundation, contour, all in one palette, face in a case. For real. <laughs> Love this. And you can even put your name on it. How fun is that? Okay, so next we'll go into our new palette. So this is, um, yes, Mary Kay's anniversary palette for 60 years. 60 years, and it's so pretty. So pretty. I wore this on Saturday. Um, I, I wear it often. It's very pretty. Um, so I'm going to take a crease brush. I like to start with my crease and first I'm going to start with this legacy lilac. So that purple lilac, and I'm going to go right into that crease. I love this fluffy brush. So I can just put the color on, let it blend. So fun. All right, other side with the Legacy Lilac. wanted to start with my purple. And then we have this ionic pink. So I'm going to do a little bit of the pink and I'm going to put it more so on this outer part of my crease. So it's just like going to give a little hint of pink 
on the outside of the crease there. I'm not going to blend it into the purple. Okay. I'm going to take my purple again and go a little lower here on the outer like third of the eye. I'm bringing down the purple down a little lower as well. It's such a pretty purple. Let's see if I put something else in there. Okay. Now I'm going to take an all over eyeshadow brush and we're going to go into this white. It's called Pink Diamonds. And so it actually has um, pink. Sorry to get something on my lip there um it has pink flakes in the white so i'm gonna dip my all over eyeshadow brush in here and i'm gonna do padding motions because i really want it to stick really well I'm going to pat it right on to the lid there. very pretty color and then the last one that we're gonna do let's see where's the brush that i used right here so i'm gonna use this brush right here i like that they're labeled oh this one is not though <laughs> so it's a color brush we're gonna go into the burgundy crown so that deep burgundy shade so this is going to be the accent color and so what i'm going to do is go from the lash line kind of making like um a little edge there <laughs> almost like a triangle um so just kind of going up and then i'm going to go into that crease right in there because i do kind of have some hooded eyes um, and hooded eyes means that when you have your eyes open, you don't see as much of your lid. Right now, they're, my eyes are looking more standard, but there is some hooded there. <laughs> okay. So, and it's kind of like just making like a V or a C shape, kind of, I like to say like hugging the eyeball. Okay, so I put like more color on that outer edge. And then you want a good blending brush because I want the color to be popping, but I want to blend out the edges so it looks soft and that it blends together. There we go. My son went behind a cloud. Did you see that color change? <laughs> okay. Getting my other side here how I want it and then blending I'm 
pretty, pretty colors. So there we have it, the new palette. And I'm going to also take my eyeliner brush into the purple and go underneath for eyeliner, connecting all the colors. Okay. And I'm going to keep it light under there with just shadow so it doesn't pull my eye down. Um, and then I wanted to share with you what I call coffee on a stick. So if you feel like you got dark circles underneath um, and you want to you wanna brighten that because you want more attention up here, right? Not down here, up here. <laughs> so this is what I call coffee on a stick. This is under eye corrector. Um, it is a peachy hue, so you just dab it underneath. I already did this, but dab it underneath, and then you want to pat. This skin is like tissue paper. It moves. It folds. We don't want it to do that. We want it to be like as firm as possible, so we want to do patting motions. If we pull and tug, you're going to lose more collagen there. You're going to create more wrinkles. And we don't want to see the product in the wrinkles, right? So we want to pat, 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 so that it looks all just nice and flat. Okay, liner. I get to make a decision on liner today. I have all the colors. Oh, black, brown, teal. No, sorry. <laughs> teal, steely, and um, blue. But I'm going to go with black today to make my lashes look thicker. If I want to put my fake lashes on today, I could do that. Because I'll have my black liner on as a good base. Okay, and there's one side right there, thickening the lash line. And these um, new liners are waterproof, and the crayon is really easy to use. It glides so easily. It stays in place, especially when you prep your eye correctly. In the morning, I don't put any um, eye cream on my eyelid, so that would just create more um, oil up there. Things would move around too much. So no, no eye cream on the lids in the morning, just underneath the eye. All right, I think I have them matched to how I want them. And we're going to put the mascara on. I have Lash Panorama today. Going with the pink theme, right? Pink, pink. Lash Panorama. Mary Kay's 60th anniversary palette.
And with mascara, I do two, maybe three coats. So this is coat number one. Getting it on to where I want it. Combing out the lashes. And then I'll let it dry. And then I'll do come back and do another coat. So, um, so yeah. Was it fun to learn? My face in the case. Uh, foundation and contour all in one slim palette. And then when you run out of one thing, this is the cool part. When you run out of one thing, you can switch it out. So say I run out of my foundation. I run out of my cream to powder. I can just pop it out. Right? And I can throw this part away. And then I can get a new one just to put in here. I don't have to get a whole new palette. I can just get that one item that I need. Love that. Saving so much time and money. <laughs> okay. And then we had our palette of the 60th anniversary palette. So pretty. It goes on so nice. And there's many ways that you can use it. You don't have to do it the way that I put it on. Many people put it on differently. So here it is in the catalog. You can really... Um, be creative and create whatever you want to create and you can even use like some of these pinks as cheek colors too which is really cool and tis the season tis the season to hydrate tis the season it says tis the season to sparkle and it's sparkly on the bottom so I gotta have my orange juice this morning but yes, tis the season to hydrate and stay healthy. So got to have my, <laughs> my OJ today, getting my vitamin C in. And then I wanted to show you, oh my gosh, we have this new scent out for the holidays. Um, it just came out this month, but it's Orchard Peach. Orchard Peach. We used to have, I'm going to take my rings off to put it on. Um, we used to have a peach hand cream when I first started um, 12 years ago and it was so good it was so good and a little bit goes a long way but this is even better like I like this peach even better it's more of like a cleaner uh, how do I explain it cleaner like floral peach I feel like it's more of like a tropical peach <laughs> like I I could go to a resort and eat it. I think it smells like a candle that I might have in my house. Um, but then I love the satin hands. It doesn't, like the smell only lasts for, you know, so long. Um, it kind of dissipates a little bit as you're wearing it. And then your hands are so soft. Like my skin is so soft with this. And it keeps the skin looking younger and um you know it just shines when it's hydrated and taken care of so love our new peach satin hands orchard peach satin hands <laughs> so hydrating the hands is super important right now um also i wanted to show you this ha cenamide hydrator so ha stands for hyaluronic acid and that's gonna hydrate your cells better within your skin but this is an amazing product um it is now my hands are slippery to open it um it is a like a serum it is a serum it's called a boosters because it's going to boost your skin <laughs> i should have showed you this one before the lotion oh my goodness Okay, I'm not going to be able to open it at the moment. It's, this is a brand new one that I just pulled for myself because I know I'm going to need um, more hydration this winter. It, the snow is sticking right now <laughs> here in Wisconsin. I'm going to need more hydration. So it is a dropper. It's um, amazing. 
and how it hydrates the skin. All you need is like a couple drops, maybe I think it says in the bottom here or on the bottle, six to eight drops is what it says and gently massage it into the skin and um, it, it just feels so much more hydrated because that hyaluronic acid is the main key right there. But right now this is on sale. This is um, $38 and right now until Thursday, November 30th, it's $8 off. So you can get it for 30 instead of 38. So it's a great deal. Um, you can get a couple of these if you want to stock up on the sale, but good, really, really excellent product. Um, my last thing that I'm going to do today before I sign off here and see, I can't even open my lip liner. I'm going to do the lips. I have a meeting coming up here on zoom. Okay. So I got to have the lips ready. So this is my go-to lip. It's like a pink neutral to me. Um, I need my mirror. So I love Rose lip liner. This is usually my always my go to lip look. Grab a liner of a color because the liner stays on so good. I can drink out of my cups and it doesn't come off. So like my glass over here with my OJ, it won't come off. So if you watched, I lined the lips first and then I colored them in. I especially like to line them because our lips don't seem to stay the same shape. And this helps make them look more symmetrical and you can even kind of go outside the line a little bit to make your lip look bigger so that just makes them look sharper to me i love the liner to make the lips look sharper um last and then I tap it with what I call frosting <laughs> lip gloss this is sheer illusion and it's hydrating remember tis the season to hydrate a little bit of sheer illusion and voila my pink neutral lip look to go with my pink palette and my contouring all right thanks so much for watching would love to know your feedback and again um, like I said before if you want to know like your colors of what would be best for you for your contouring um, in your personal palette just reach out to me and I will I'll help you figure out what your your coloring should be all right happy makeover Monday